Hi, I'm Anthea Lawson, and I write sensual Victorian set romantic adventure. I actually co-author with my husband, which is sort of fun. We do a lot of research together. But um, actually, research is one of the funnest things about writing historicals. Um, our first book, Passionate, was an October 2008 release from Kensington Books. Um, it features the heroine, Lily Strathmore, who's a botanical artist, and the hero, James Huntington, on a botanical expedition to Tunisia. Um, I live in the Pacific Northwest, where there's hard to tell from the weather today, but there's a lot of clouds and rain. And uh, because of that, our books are set in exotic locations where there's lots of sunshine, tangerines, olives, all the things we can't really get in the Northwest. Um, I have a section to read from Passionate. This is early on in the book where Lily and James have had a disastrous first meeting, which is always fun to write, and uh, then re-encounter one another in the, the drawing room of her uncle's home. Uncle Edward offered Mr. Huntington a chair. I understand you have already met my children, Isabel and Richard, and my niece, Lily. I have had the pleasure. A hint of a smile touched Mr. Huntington's lips as he took a seat. Miss Strathmore, I hope you were not harmed by your fall this morning. Lily resisted the urge to draw her legs up beneath her, even though they were decently covered in her pale green tea gown. I am quite recovered, thank you. He did smile then, an expression that looked so well on him that Lily almost wished she could forgive his presence. Her gaze lingered on the strong planes of his face. The light cast defining shadows beneath his clean jaw and along the column of his neck. Highlights bleached by the sun shone in his brown hair, burnt umber, yellow ochre. She mixed the colors in her mind's eye. He raised an eyebrow at her. Drat the man. She was a painter, for heaven's sake. She looked at things, flowers, landscapes, people. Her gaze had been entirely of a professional nature. So Lily's good at telling herself uh, how she's not feeling. And that's the story of her transformation into a much more passionate individual. That's the title, Passionate. Um, we have an exciting cover, which isn't necessarily historical until you remember the fact that in the 19th century, they were naked underneath their clothes too. And uh, we definitely get to some of those scenes that speak to the uh, sensual nature of the story as the cover would suggest. How'd you meet your husband? Um, we met through words. We met in the early days of the internet on a bulletin board system online and he was the special interest group moderator of a writer's area. And uh, so we were very much drawn to one another's words and we had a long courtship via email and uh, finally met in person. We lived 250 miles apart at the time and uh, ended up deciding that this was our soulmate.